どうもアメジンです今日は英語の動画ですからぜひぜひ字幕を使ってください Today, I want to talk about a phrase I use in English all the time that I could not for the life of me figure out how to say in Japanese until I did. English speakers often use the phrase some people or some places, da 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 da, you know. Some people are racist. Some places are dangerous. When I was in Japan speaking Japanese all the time, there were many occasions.、Uh, Where I wanted to say, some people do this and this and this, or some people are like this, this, and this. And when I went to the dictionary to find out how to say this, I found this.、Hmm. When I tried using this, however, my Japanese friends told me that it was pretty strange. No one uses this kind of structure or word in Japanese. Oftentimes, I come up on this situation in which there's something in English that I use all the time and I want to communicate it in Japanese, but I just, there's just no way I can find to communicate it. And I've learned, one of the biggest things I've learned being in Japan was that sometimes there's just nothing you can say. There's just no equivalent in Japanese. And other times, There is a way to say it, there is an equivalent, it's just a bunch of different words or a completely different grammar structure. And in this case, you do use different words and a different grammar structure. There is a way, there is a Japanese equivalent for this thing that I want to say in English. After asking many, many Japanese friends of mine who all didn't know the answer or didn't know what to tell me, One of my good friends finally, finally gave me a pretty good、uh, equivalent for what I wanted to say in English. Most of the words in this structure that I'm about to show you are different from the ones in English, but when we break it down and we look at it carefully, you'll see that it is actually a very good equivalent for what English speakers want to say when they want to say some people or some places or some thing. To say there are some people that in Japanese, you can say, そういう人もいる。or そんな人もいる。そういう人もいる。そんな人もいる。for places it would be そういうところもある。そんなところもある。for things in general usually abstract things you could say そういうこともある。そんなこともある。now I'm gonna break it down for you。both そういう and そんな mean、uh, that kind of。They're the exact same things. And when you combine it with the word hito, meaning people or person, you get そういう人、そんな人 which means that kind of person or those kinds of people. And そういうところ and そんなところ both mean、uh, that kind of place or those kinds of places. そういう and そんな are interchangeable. The only difference between them,、um, in one of my textbooks, I don't know, it said like, so you is more bookish, more technical sounding, so I guess it sounds a little more formal than so na. But when I was in Japan talking with my good friends, they used both interchangeably with me, so I think it's okay for you also to use both interchangeably. After so you and so na comes the thing you're talking about, whether it's a person, a place, or a thing, hito, tokoro, or koto, or anything else for that matter. After that comes the inclusion particle mo. And this basically translates to the word to in English or also. And after mo comes a verb of existence. For animate things, this is iru. For inanimate things like places or buildings or other things, abstract concepts, whatever, this is aru. So the phrase so yu hito mo iru, word for word, translates to. Those kinds of people also exist. Or in more understandable English, there are also people like that. In conversation, it would sound like this. Facebook にハマった人はおかしいね。まあそんな人もいるね。But this isn't quite what I want to communicate in English. To do that, we have to replace そういう or そんな with something related to the person, place, or thing that I'm talking about. For example, Facebook が好きな人 To say some people like Facebook in Japanese, you could say, There are some dangerous places in America. 
would be アメリカには危ないところもある。To get technical and nuanced with these structures, there is a feeling when you use them, there is a feeling that there are other people, places, or things alongside the thing that you're talking about that doesn't have the qualities of the thing that you're talking about. This is where the inclusion particle mo comes in. These sentences can technically also be translated like this. There are also some people who like Facebook. There are also some dangerous places in America. Moral of the story don't use. Anta no doga. Waru hi hyo ka suru hito iru de shou. Ma. So yu hito mo iru ne. Hi, bye bye, peace guys. <laughs>